Did you know that while the famous hero of Dragon Ball Z, Son Goku, has been voiced by more than 15 different actors and actresses in English, his Japanese voice has remained the same since the very beginning for well over 20 years. The prestigious voice acting legend Masako Nozawa voiced little Goku from his very first appearance in the original Dragon Ball series, which aired on February 26, 1986. With the show running in Japan every week, two years passed and she continued to voice Goku as he reappeared after a time skip and Goku had grown up. Because of this transition, it was felt by the Japanese producers perfectly natural to keep Nozawa on the role, despite, by 1989, Goku was a full-fledged 24-year-old adult with a wife and child. In fact, Masako Nozawa was also cast as not only Goku's children, Gohan and Goten, but also his father, Bardock, and even his evil doppelganger, Tullus. To those untrained in the Japanese language, the voices of Nozawa's characters might not sound that different from each other, but in fact, she performs all of these characters completely differently. For example, Goku, being born out in the middle of nowhere, talks like the equivalent of a hick. <laughs> Gohan, being very well educated, speaks well mannered and intelligently. <laughs> and Goten, growing up primarily with Chi Chi, speaks like his mother. <laughs> There are actually quite a few speech quirks like these to other characters that were lost in translation for the various English dubs of the show, such as Trunks speaking very politely out of respect to the Z-Warriors, and Frieza speaking politely to the point of near effeminacy, but in a passive-aggressive manner. However, thanks to more recent English adaptations on things like the video games and Dragon Ball Z Kai, the characters are much more preserved from their original Japanese counterparts. Additionally, while fans in the U.S. might not recognize the names of Dragon Ball Z's Japanese cast, there's a good chance you've heard of them if you've played certain video games. Han Lee from the Dead or Alive series is voiced by Toshio Furukawa, Piccolo. Kai Kisuke from the Guilty Gear series is voiced by Takashi Kusao, Trunks. Nintendo character Marth was voiced in the Fire Emblem OVA and Super Smash Bros. games by Hikaru Midorikawa, number 16. And the funniest one, Captain Falcon from F-Zero is voiced in the Super Smash Bros. games by Ryo Horikawa, Vegeta. I'm saying Captain Falcon is Vegeta! The various English dubs of the Dragon Ball series, in order to better appeal to Western audiences, would often cast different actors and actresses to voice the characters in different ages, especially if there was a noticeably wide age gap. In some cases, even a different transformation of the same character would be voiced by two different actors. Funimation, the company that has owned the Dragon Ball license for about 20 years, has managed to keep the cast of the show as consistent as they possibly can, but as their talent pool has shifted over the years, it's sometimes impossible to keep everyone the same 100% of the time. Arguably one of the most consistent performers on the English version of the show is Christopher Sabat. Sabat auditioned at Funimation's open cattle call for the recasting of Dragon Ball Z in 1999, at a recommendation of a friend, Carly Hunter, who at the time had been doing TV broadcast paint edits to Dragon Ball like covering up Goku's junk. Sabat booked several parts in the show at this time and still holds many of them to this day. For example, Vegeta, Piccolo, Yamcha, Kami, Raccoon, and even the wish-granting dragon himself, Shenmong. He also began working on the series as an audio engineer, and in time, took over the show as the ADR director. Sabat has directed a massive portion of the original DBZ series, several of the movies, all of the video games, and the entirety of Dragon Ball Z Kai. Oh, and his friend Carly Hunter eventually ended up being one of the producers at Funimation. The very first piece of Dragon Ball series animation that was dubbed at Funimation's in-house studio in Dallas, Texas, was the second Dragon Ball film, Sleeping Princess and Devil's Castle. In this movie, Lori Steele was cast as young Krillin, Mike McFarland as Master Roshi, and Chris Sabat as Yamcha, who have kept their part since then. Some anomalies in this movie include Leslie Alexander voicing Bulma here, and never again, before being replaced by Tiffany Bulma in the series. As well as Celie Delgadillo, who voiced young Goku in this movie, along with Dragon Ball Movie 3, Mystical Adventure, and a couple flashback scenes in DBZ, before eventually being replaced on Little Goku by Stephanie Nadolny, who also did Young Gohan. Ironically, both Stephanie Nadolny and Tiffany Vollmer have been replaced in recent years by new actresses, Colleen Clinkenbeard and Monica Rial, respectively. Early on, Funimation's talent pool was very small, which is why actors like Chris Sabat were cast as a large number of characters. Around the time of the Android story arc, their talent pool expanded to folks like Chuck Huber, Kent Williams, Meredith McCoy, Jeremy Inman, and Damian Clark. Damian Clark, who is known now for his live-action work on shows like 24 and CSI, and video game roles like Handsome Jack from Borderlands, was the voice of Cell for the original run of DBZ, several video games, and even returned for the character in Dragon Ball Z Kai. He's occasionally voiced Matt from the DBZ video games by Travis Willingham.
You see, the powers of Vegeta, Goku, Frieza, and so many others have already been incorporated into my being. For when you become a part of me, an unbeatable, super-powerful being will be born! Also, a little side note, in the alternate Canadian dub of Dragon Ball Z that was produced after the rest of Funimation's dub in Texas, Cell was voiced by Dale Wilson, the man from GLAAD, who happened to be acquainted with Damien while he lived in Canada. Quite remarkable, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Long after the end of DBZ's original run, director Chris Sabat had amassed a far greater number of actors to draw from, so for the series' revival in Dragon Ball Z Kai, several changes were made. As mentioned earlier, the script adaptation was updated to be far more faithful to the Japanese, and several characters were recast to be given more appropriate performances that fit their adjusted personalities, such as Christopher Ayers taking on the role of Frieza from Linda Young. In addition, Sabat had also given up a number of his own characters to other actors. Examples include Chris Kasin as Mr. Popo, J. Michael Tatum as Zarbon, and Jason Liebrick as Jace. Oh, and one last piece of really weird obscure trivia, the Dragon Ball GT special called A Hero's Legacy in America featured a villain character named Susha. The rest of this movie featured the usual actors from Funimation's talent pool at the time, but Susha was voiced by special guest Peter Mayhew, who also played Chewbacca from Star Wars. Chewie is a small part of the Dragon Ball universe. Wrap your head around that one, folks. Thanks for watching. This video was inspired by Did You Know Gaming, so go check out their channel and watch all their videos about gaming trivia. Special thanks to Omadon for the audio mastering, my new soundtrack for the music, and behind the voice actors in Konzenshu.com for all the audio samples and research. If you like this video, go check out some of our other ones linked here on the side. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more. See you next time!